you guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much if you watch my latest video or you have subscribed to me it means so much to me so thank you if you are just coming onto my channel right now and don't know what my uh, channel is about you can go to my about me section and you can see what I'm about and what my channel is about and if you like it then you can subscribe I'm gonna be posting about two to three videos a week so yeah it should be fun you should subscribe all right so let's get to today's video Okay, so today's video was brought to me by a question that one of my viewers asked in one of my videos, and she asked me what I did when I plateaued and what she should do when she plateaus during her weight loss. And it's an amazing question because we all plateau during weight loss. It just happens. It's just something that happens. And I wanted to make this video because when I plateaued for myself, I'm going to give an example. I plateaued in March and I started in January. I, sorry, I talk with my hands so much. I'm sorry, I'm Italian. It just happens. But um, I started my weight loss in January and I plateaued in March and I started to get concerned. I was like, you know what, like maybe I should give up. And that's something that you shouldn't do. Don't give up because it's going to, you, you are going to achieve your goal. But I needed to do some research because I really was in a rut and I needed to know what to do. So I researched some things and these tips helped me 100% and I guarantee you that they will help you. And that's why I want to share this video with you and my tips that I used when I was plateauing. Um, so I'm going to get right into Jamie's tips to get out of plateauing. Okay, that was weird. But anyway, um, number one is you need to change your workout. You can't keep doing the same workout over and over again because your body's going to be like, eh, nah, like I don't want to do this anymore. So it's, you're just going to get used to it. So once you're used to it, your body is already adjusted to it. So it's not going to be challenging for you. And you want to get a workout that is challenging for you because it's going to make you work harder. And it's going to make you burn more calories. It's going to make you sweat more. So you need to change it up. You can't just do the same exact thing over and over again. For example, when I was losing weight, I started out out doing a treadmill with um, speed 4.0 oh no 3.0 sorry and then uh, incline 7.0 and then when I started to plateau I started to go up more I went to 3.5 to 4.0 and then I went to incline to 15 right after um, 3.0 3.0, sorry. And I saw a little difference still, you know, I was still not happy with, you know, my results. So I changed the machines I was on. I started doing the Stairmaster. I started doing the bike and my body started to get not as adjusted and clingy, I guess, to the treadmill. And I opened up my workouts to a much more um, window of opportunity. And I think that challenging yourself when you're plateauing is a really, really good thing to do because it's going to get you out of your rut. So change your Okay, so tip number two, and this is actually, all these steps are really important, and I always say it's really important, but this is really important also, um, your calorie intake, you have to adjust it because you can't be intaking the same calories that you were taking in the beginning of your weight loss journey, because for example, myself, when I was started losing weight, I was 260, and uh, my fitness pal calculated download my fitness pal um, my fitness uh, my fitness pal calculated to um, eat 1200 calories a day and then I kept eating 1200 calories a day and then when March came and I lost 20 pounds by March I was still in taking 1200 calories a day and that is something that I shouldn't have done because I was losing weight and I was smaller so I needed to adjust it for the smaller version of myself and take intake more calories so I was getting the nutrients and stuff that I needed so when you do lose weight you should probably you know change the, your calorie intake you know every 10 pounds so make sure you are watching your weight and watching how many calories you are intaking because it's going to affect uh, your plateau it really will um, so download my fitness pal and it will calculate it for you <laughs> okay tip number three is increase your muscle mass and I know you're like what is that you need to start lifting weights because I know you don't actually see how many calories you're burning when you're lifting weights, but you actually do burn a lot of calories when you're lifting weights. So on top of calories that you're burning during cardio, you're burning calories while you're lifting weights. 
And if you're thinking like, I had never lift weights before, or I'm not comfortable, start with two pounds or five pounds and just, you know, lift up your arms and do some like weightlifting things. And you will see that there will be a difference and you will be sweating more after every workout, after every time you're at the gym. And it's going to help you get out of this rut that you're in right now because you're doing other things other than cardio. And I know I said that in, the, in one of my videos for beginners of people that are losing weight because cardio is very important when you're trying to burn fat. But now we're at a point where we're plateauing and you need to do other things to be able to get out of your plateau. So it's really important. Um, tip number four is something that I actually didn't even know about until a year into my weight loss, um, you need to eat more protein because when you eat more protein, it means that you are burning calories actually when you're breaking down that food. And more protein that you eat is means the more calories that you will be burning. So I think it's really important that you're getting a lot of protein in your body, especially when you're plateauing if you want to get out of that rut. So start eating a lot of protein. It will help you. And I'm telling you, it was actually crazy when I started eating protein. And uh, I mean, I ate protein before, but when I started eating more protein, I saw an amazing difference. And I'm not just saying that. It was actually really crazy of the difference that I saw. Um, tip number five, and I know that, you know, your parents probably tell you this, you know, everybody in your life tells you this, you need to sleep. The amount that is, you know, recommended, I don't know if it's like seven or eight hours, but when you are sleeping, your hormones, um, they like kind of like, um, they uh, reset. So when they reset, you start going back to normal. But if your hormones are all over the place, you're not going to be, you know, uh, head on. You're going to be all over the place. And that's something that you don't want to do when you are working out. And when you are on this weight loss journey, you always want to have your head on straight. You always want to be focused and you want to succeed. So sleeping is very important because we want to succeed. We don't want our hormones to be all out of whack. So trust me, I'm telling you, when I didn't sleep, the next day, my workouts were horrible. So if you are trying to lose a lot of weight, if you are in your plateau stage, please sleep more. It will help you out so much. And I didn't believe it, but it is so true. It helps you so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed my five tips on how to get out of plateauing when you are losing weight. Um, these tips helped me, so I hope they will help you also. I, know, I actually know they will help you because... I was very overweight, so they definitely will help you. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Let me know why you didn't like it, and I will fix it. If you want a topic that I should do on my channel, let me know. I will make a video about it. Um, if you also like this video and want more videos from me, subscribe. I will be posting um, more videos uh, two to three times a week, like I said. I'm also giving out free meal plans to my next 50 subscribers. I know I said that in my other video, but I want to make it known again, I will be giving out uh, free meal plans to my next 50 subscribers. I just said that again, just so you hear it. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, I want to go watch 13 Reasons Why. I have two more episodes left. I'm really excited. I want to know what's going to happen. But um, so you guys have a great night, and I hope these helped you. All right, guys. See you next time.